Hey, what's up? It's Evan from PhotoExtremist.com, and today I'm going to show you how I made this picture, this picture, this picture, and this picture. Now, first, you're going to need a little water dropper and a CD. Next, just spend a little time dropping each little drop on the CD. This only takes a second. Next thing you're going to want to do is put your camera on a tripod. You can put it on a regular tripod and just scoot it up right next to the table where the CD is, or you can get a tripod that extends over a table so you can get a direct overhead view. Now to illuminate my CD, I was using a mini mag light flashlight. This is so cool because you can adjust the beam and you can also take the cap off which reveals the light bulb completely. So you can do, you can experiment with different types of lighting effects. And then I also got some colorful gels, and I'll leave a link to those down in the description if you want to pick them up. Um, I just held them in front of the flashlight, and that allowed me to introduce different types of colors onto the CD. Now it just so happens that the mini mag light is actually pretty bright. So what I had to do is get a little ND8 filter so I can put it on my lens and darken the picture. So it's... It doesn't overexpose the picture and blast everything out to where it looks ugly. After I put that on, I used F11 or F16. Either one of those I was using most of the time. My ISO was on the lowest ISO possible, and my shutter speed was about anywhere from 3 seconds all the way up to 30 seconds. And I did even go into bulb mode, and I used my cable release. This allowed me to go over 30 seconds. And I did adjust my white balance as well. Sometimes I used incandescent, sometimes I used flash when I was using my flash. But if you leave it on auto, you can get good results. It doesn't the white balance doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so now that we have the shutter speed to 10 or 30 seconds or something like that, whenever we take a picture, it's going to be taking the picture for 10 or 30 seconds. So we're going to move the flashlight around the CD and get it to clo as close to the table as you can. Now you can roll it around on the actual table, but sometimes when you do this, the, the water drops will kind of bump and jiggle, and that will cause the picture to go out of focus and not look perfectly sharp. And remember, I'm taking these pictures in a, in a very, very dark room. This visual right here that you're seeing is just for demonstrations, so you can actually see what I was doing. And those here are those colored gels I was talking about. Again, you can you can move them on top of the CD. You can go on the side of the CD. Try different angles. Try different lengths, heights. Do what you need to do. Try it with the cap off. Try all different sorts of variations. Different lights. Different settings on your camera. Different white balances. Just experiment. Now I'm going to be showing you just some more examples and more detailed explanations. So if you liked what you saw, keep watching. So this was one where I did the circular pattern. I just went around the edge of the CD, just the edge, and circled around it with the light facing the CD. This one, same thing, but I used a different white balance. Uh, this one I was scribbling the mag light on top of the CD with the cap off. This one, I can't remember what I was doing, but based on the reflections on the water drops, I just made a quick scribble over on top of the CD with a cap off. Or on, I don't remember. <laughs> now this one is really cool. I think what I did is I just made a quick circle above the CD. Again, I'm only basing this on the reflection on, on the water drops because I can't remember everything that I did. And this one I placed the flashlight on top of the CD and I just let it sit there right in the middle. And I had the exposure time going pretty long on this because it had to, the light was pretty dim. So I had to have the exposure time much longer in order to get it bright. Now this one is the same thing. I just took the mag light and made a circle around the CD. And you can actually see the blanket, the black blanket that it was on. And you can see, you can see that the light starts about two inches away from the CD. So you want, you want to try using different... Uh, you know, lengths away from the CD. And different heights, too. That always helps. This, I don't remember. It looks like I just made a quick circle on top of the CD with the mag light. This, I made a circle around the CD um, 
but it was around the edge of the CD, right near the surface that it was on. This I got down low and I made a scribble above the CD with the cap off on the mag light. And I also raised the vibrance and the saturation on some of these pictures in the raw converter thing. So keep that in mind too if you want to enhance the color. <clears throat> this one, I just made a laser pen, shined a laser pen on it. That's it. <laughs> and this one, I got, I put on my macro lens and I just made a quick circular scribble above the CD. And you can practice where the reflections are going to hit by going into live view on your camera first, practicing, and see where the reflections show up on the water drops, and then go and make your final picture. That always helps. So keep that in mind. This one, um, same thing. I just raised the camera up a little bit, and I focused on the raindrops. And you can see up here in the top left, uh, the scribbles are in focus, and that's good. Make sure you check. I should have got this big one right here down in the middle in focus, but I didn't because I was too I was too rushed. So <laughs> this one I don't remember how I took it. I think I just took an external flash and just flashed it on it. Now this one is really cool. Uh, all I did was make a half circle with the mag light above the CD. Just one simplistic half circle, and then I turned it off, and that was it. Now this one I made a star pattern around the CD going up and down. This one I was using the colored gels on top of the mag light um, and the cap was on on the mag light too so I wouldn't use the colored gels with the cap off. <laughs> that might mess things up.